This is Ivan, I'm Enoch. <laughs> and we're gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Okay, so we just finished um, watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, so, uh, what do you think? It was awesome. It was really, <laughs> really good. It was um, highly entertaining. Yeah. Very... Okay, uh, let's do a spoiler-free version first. Oh, spoiler-free. Well, yeah. It's very well written. Yeah. Lots of... Um, I don't know, like references that are very... Well, I don't know, is it... <laughs> Maybe I'm dated, <laughs> but I get them. <laughs> I don't know. I, I get some of them, but not, yeah. may, I, maybe not all. It, it's like watching Deadpool. Yeah. When, when I was, watched Deadpool, the jokes were flying so fast, I probably didn't catch all of them. Yeah. So I, so very, I had to very, keep re yeah, them. Yeah, very similar yeah. feel to Deadpool, yeah. except um, more PG. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. No, no, uh, because there were kids sitting sitting in the row in front of us. Yeah. I was I, I thought there were lots of people dying, yeah. so I wasn't sure that that's actually that kid friendly. Yeah, uh, I guess, I guess, but it's different, right? Because yeah, yeah. There's, it's, not, there's no blood not spewing blood everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But no, it was really, really good. Um, Baby Groot will be a marketing bonanza. <laughs> Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're gonna sell lots and lots of baby groups. Yeah, baby group. I want a baby group. <laughs> so good. So good. Um, yeah, I, I just generally without any talking about specifics. Yeah. Um, has that real Marvel feel to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Has that real look. Highly yeah. entertaining. Yeah. Um, the dynamics of the characters work. The dialogue is really, really good, I thought. Mm. Um, but hey, I watch mainly Peppa Pig <laughs> and the Wiggles, so yeah. I'm easily, <laughs> easily satisfied. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure whether it's better or worse than Volume 1. Yeah. Um, I still need, I, I, I think I need to watch it a few times uh, to get, uh, to, to, uh, yeah. to get uh, my feelings settled. For me, I would say, okay. It's either as good or better, mm. purely from the, from the basis that I had no expectations or low expectations for the first one, uh -huh. and it blew me away. Mm -hmm. Where this one, I'm going, it better be good, uh -huh. and I do not feel disappointed. So mm -hmm. because of that, I think I have this feeling, based on that sort of logic, it's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah? yeah, fair point, yeah. fair point. What, what did you like the best? Well, beyond grew, I thought, Okay, this is, generally, I like how it wasn't so focused on Star-Lord this time around. Yeah. It, although it was, yeah. but it wasn't. Like, you felt like yeah. the other characters had... Yeah. I felt more even. Yeah. I, I like that pretty much, probably 90% of the trailer happened in the first, what, 10 to 15 minutes? Yes. Yeah. So it's like, you... There's, they didn't really show any of what's really happening in the movie. Yes, yeah, and that's, I think that was a good thing, right? Because I actually didn't know what the story was. Based yeah, on, yeah. You don't know what the Just story from is. Just from the trailer alone, yeah. It's, it, I had no idea what the story was about. But having said that, the trailer was very good in giving you a feel for the movie. Yeah, it, yes. It's like the trailer all the time. That, yeah. That's the best way of putting it. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, we're in the car park. So excuse yeah, so, the cars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got chased out of the place we were at, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, other things I like. I don't know. Um, yeah, I like the fact that you got, I felt like in the first one, like Drax's character in this one was really, like, really, really well done. <laughs> like, he's so funny in this one. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I think Drax lived, lived up to my expectations from watching the trailer. <laughs> yeah, and it's, um, I don't know, it just really felt well balanced, right? Cause, mm. And then again, I always keep on thinking, well, that's because you don't watch many movies, right? Because I felt there was okay. enough of like an emotional pull between mm. some of the characters. You know, mm. there's bits that were sad, mm. bits that were funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't, I thought it was well paced. I didn't yeah. sit there going, oh man, this is... Bit is slow or frustrating. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. None of that. Yeah, I think there's there's very little uh, periods where it's there's not character development or plot development. Yep. 
Yeah. So that's what I, I really enjoy about this. That you know, beyond you know special effects, it's good yeah. fun. <laughs> Very sorry. It, it felt like it was a good way of building on it. So mm -hmm. then you go, okay, I want to go watch three because yeah. now you know a little bit more. Like yeah. it felt like the characters and the storylines did develop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it's highly recommend that movie, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. And so if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. Uh, I'll probably have to put this before the spoiler alert thing. You can cut it. Anyway. I'll cut it every, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, definitely go watch it and highly recommend it. Okay, so uh, spoiler warning now. If you haven't seen the mo movie, uh, come back after you've seen it. Um, all right, I yeah. think that's enough spoiler warning. Yeah. So, okay, uh, spoiler review now. Spoiler review, okay. Okay, I knew that ego was an issue because uh, obviously they showed the dad in, in the trailer. Uh, I'm your dad. Peter. So, yeah, I, I knew from comics that ego was bad. Yeah. But the trailer gave, gave no indication that he was the big bad in the movie. It's, yeah. The, the trailer gave the indicate, give a su suggestion that he's he's part of them. Yeah. Like he's helping them or like yeah. some, somehow he's actually good. Yeah, well, I think that was the only thing because I didn't know about Ego. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, well, I was, okay, honestly, I was just distracted by Baby Groot. <laughs> I just kept on watching the trailer over and over. But, um, yeah. so I didn't know about Ego. But that, that would be one of the, I didn't feel like he was like evil, evil, like super evil. No, he's... Well, we're, we're in the first one where you go, oh, that guy's bad, right? Yeah, yeah. But this one where he's like, oh, he's like an emotionally manipulating dad type. Have, okay, have you seen Jessica Jones? No. Okay. Oh, well, okay, I've watched the first two episodes. Okay. And so you know, you know, kind of know that who the bad is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think Ego is kind of like Kilgrave. Yeah. Where he grew up without knowing the social context of things. He grew up not knowing what it's like to be normal human. Yeah. So that's why he turns out the way he is, for, yeah. at least for Kilgrave. And I think Ego is similar because he's just a thing that grew out in the middle of the, the universe. Yeah, yeah. So he had no better, there, there was no one to guide him to, to go, this is right, this is wrong. Yeah, I, I guess the thing is usually for a lot of bad guys, like this time, the only time you knew he was a bad guy was like a cabin full of bones. Where usually yeah. it's like you see him killing a lot of people and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know, I just, to me, I, I would say that was the only one thing where I'm going, it would been cool to, for him to show how he destroyed planets or something, like how powerful he was. Mm -hmm. Like you get okay. a sense of how yeah. powerful he is, but, yeah. but having said that, it doesn't take away no. from the fun. No. <laughs> Or other stories. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I think this. Um, I think this one. There's a lot more emotional uh, pull for them in the story as compared to Volume One. Yeah. Volume One was just a lot of fun. Yeah. Whereas this one, uh, spoiler alert, uh, Yondu dies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I didn't see that coming because Yondu was was part of Guardians of the Galaxy in the comics. Yep. So, when, and when, in the trailer, when Drax, uh, not when Drax, when Groot said, welcome to Guardians of the Galaxy. What's that? He says, welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Only he didn't use frickin'. I thought that's part of, that's where they're gonna, gonna introduce move, him. move, introduce him from the Ravagers into yep. the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. I thought that was, that was the story. Yeah. But yeah, it's well. You know, I the yeah. Minute... I, I I know I know that. I when when put in the context of the movie, I knew what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it, I think it works in the sense that it helps with the de character development. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it helps you, and it helps the story along about you know. Mm -hmm. It's a bit cliche, you know. He's your father, but he's not your daddy. But yeah. it's still really good. It still worked out really well. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I like that. Um, uh, what else? What else? Did you Mantis. Huh? What do you think about Mantis? She was an odd character, but yeah. her and Drax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drax together. 
Man, those lines are yeah. so good. I, I think she was You're a little... You're beautiful on the inside. <laughs> I think she was a, lot, a little underdeveloped, but yeah, she, she is a great combination with Drax. Yeah. Because <laughs> Dra Drax is so emotionless. Yeah. Well, he's just... No, no, he's, no, he's no, emotional. emotional. He's, 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 he's just so plain and yeah. no, non-filtering. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, and, and, and you pair, pair that with... Uh, she's a feeler, right? She's, she's, a, she's a feeler, and, but em, at the same time, she's also... What's that term? Empath em, empathic. Yeah, empathic. But uh, at the same time, she's also um, un, undeveloped as an individual because yeah, she, yeah. Was, she was raised by an ego. Yeah, but I also think, right, like, she, she was, um, like... A introductory introduction mm -hmm. type character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm sure I'm sure the next uh, probably Avengers: Infinity War or the next Guardians of the Galaxy will see more of her. Yeah, so that's why I think I think it's here we'll introduce you. Um, here's how we make it fun. Mm. How you and Drax have. <laughs> I love their band. <laughs> I love how funny it is. Yeah. I don't think any of I don't think either of them actually realize how funny they are. As in, like they don't. Yeah. They, they they're behaving as themselves, but it's incredibly funny how they behave. Yeah. So I don't. Know, I think it's um, great combination of characters mm -hmm. and how they develop them in this story. Mm -hmm. um, it's master move by Marvel. Yeah. Because there's so many. So, so much money to be made by all the merchandising. Yeah. And yeah. How, how they develop the stories makes you want to go watch the next one. Yeah. Well, it, it will. Uh, yeah, just to count the number of groups we have, is I'm, I'm sure someone's going to be selling da a dancing group or yeah. a dancing group app or a dancing group screensaver or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's going to be a, dance, uh, a group um, like window hanger. Window hanger for sure. For sure, in the, in the car. Someone's gonna stick it on the back window, just like in the movie. Yeah. Um, and All there's the gonna, gonna be plush toys that you can sleep with, sleep with have Groot sleep on you. Yeah, like you have like, you know, the bobblehead Groot, the, yeah. or like the dancing Elvis Groot they can put on your car. Yeah. Um, there'll be obviously oh, so much Groot yeah. stuff yeah. coming out. And um, yeah, I want one. It was yeah. the best thing. I want know. one too. <laughs> it's uh, much better than a puppy. <laughs> and all, all, all the puppy references. <laughs> There's so many rats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. What else? Uh, and all the end credits and end credit scenes. Oh, Sylvester Stallone. I, I, okay, I, there's, there had been rumors that Sylvester Stallone is going to be in there for a long time. It wasn't, com I, I saw the premiere and they it introduced the cast, so that was when it was actually, actually, I think, confirmed for the first time, at least for me, okay. that he's actually in the movie, yeah. as opposed to just a rumor. Yeah. And yeah, I can't believe they actually put him in, and along oh, with... good. I thought he was who's, who's the other, uh, the other guys? I, I don't know. I I, they, they all look very familiar, but I can't call their names. Yeah. But I thought the, like, the Asian chick one was yeah. Michelle Yeoh. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't tell. But, <laughs> look but, like but, we'll, we'll go do some research and... Yeah. It was highly recommended. You know, five stars for me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just... And uh, yeah, with, I think with David Hasselhoff and, oh. <laughs> and, and and Sylvester Stallone in there, I think, and um, all the stars that are getting cameos, I think the, the question now is, who is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, Apple's not, because they use a Zoom player. <laughs> so that's interesting. Pac-Man wasn't there. Yeah. I don't get why it was a Zoom player. I wish they did. Well, it's meant... They, they they put all the all the eighties um, songs in there, so they they zoom from the eighties. No, no, they they've got to got to put it as an older older device. Okay, I guess. So so after the eighties, I think they're gonna put the nineties two thousands in the next one. Yeah. Well, why didn't they use a discman anyway? But, that's just, <laughs> <laughs> but then you can't have three hundred songs. Yeah. yeah, it's going to have to last him for a long time. <laughs>
But no. Okay. Uh, what else did you watch? Um, 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 the, oh, uh, Stanley's cameo. <laughs> Telling stories to, I don't know, they, are they called ancients or celestial beings or some, the watchers? I think they might be called the watchers. The watchers? Yeah. So, uh, be, because I, I, when I was, before uh, Captain America Civil War came out, I read the comics. Yeah. And the watchers, which is, which looks like those people who Stan was talking to, they they appeared and they only appear when the significant event is happening. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, Stanley's cameo was interesting. Talking to the watchers, telling the stories that he told. Yeah, it's two, in two times. Yeah, twice. Which is yeah, yeah. And, and I was surprised there was no no. Uh, the, what he calls it that that little end gag thing that they usually do that's connected to the next movie. Uh, no, they did. Well, they only said stay tuned. They showed a teenage yeah, Groot. Yeah. But, um, oh yeah, teenage Groot. <laughs> How do you think of a teenage Groot? <laughs> oh, baby Groot is much cuter. Yeah, yeah, much like, more marketable. It, it's good that they 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 put uh, baby Groot in the movie. Yeah. And teenage Groot comes later. Yeah. Just that little scene, and you just go. And I don't want to do with Teenage Groot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's also good to set the expectation. No, Baby Groot was just for this movie. He's not coming back. Yeah. Maybe not, unless he gets killed again and nah. <laughs> sprout him again. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. So also like his next... relationship with Drax. Yeah. Uh, you know, he keeps hitting him, but then when he wants to go to sleep, he's like a baby. He goes to Drax to sleep. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. Next movie. Next movie. Thor Ragnarok. Interested? Yeah. Excited? Have you seen, seen the trailer? I haven't even seen, haven't the, even trailer seen the trailer. trailer. Okay. <laughs> haven't seen. Um, I don't even know when half the stuff is coming out. Marvel's so prolific. Um, what's the next one after that? Um, so Thor Ragnarok and Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I like Spider Man. So yeah, yeah. I look forward to that. Yeah, I, I think Spider-Man is kind of for, for me. It's kind of a uh, uh, still an audition an audition phase for me because Spider-Man is still a Sony property, and yeah. um, the previous Spider-Man, the, fir the first one, I I think the first first one was good. Um, the, the ones after that was a bit uh, yeah so so. I, I'm hoping that now that Sony is collaborating with Marvel Studios, it's going to be good. Yeah. But I'm still... I, I'll wait and see. Yeah. Uh, and on, on X-Men, I really hope that Logan is the last Fox uh, Marvel mo movie. Yeah. And I hope that they'll do a Sony and collaborate with Marvel and actually Marvel Studios and actually do it together. Because okay. I want X Men to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, no, that'll be good because then there can be a bit more crossover. Yeah. Cross yeah, and a similar thing with Fantastic Four. Because yeah, I mean, Fantastic Four is just uh, yeah, the Fantastic Four movies, the, 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 or Fan Four Stick. Yeah. That's a terrible, terrible movie. I have no idea why they even bothered making it. I know they want to keep the rights, but. If you want to keep the rights, at least make a proper movie. Yeah, but no, it's riding on the coattails a bit. But yeah, but it's a bit controversial. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I think Marvel. I, I just hope that in the ideal world, Marvel Studios will get all the rights back, and they can do a proper Marvel Cinematic Universe with all the characters and yeah. available to them. Yeah, I, I think it's highly recommend that movie, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. And so, if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. Uh, I'll probably have to put this before the spoiler alert thing. You can cut it. Anyway. I'll cut it every. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, definitely go watch it. Highly recommend it. Okay, where can people find you? Uh, Instagram mainly. Yeah. The main what's one. your username? <laughs> Let me find out. Oh, Ivan Wu T S. <laughs> Okay, follow Ivan UTS in, on Instagram. I'll put it in the link below. And yeah. yeah. And you can find me on, at Enochco on Twitter, Enochco on Instagram. 
you know, go everywhere. <laughs> and on this channel, of course. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, yeah. Okay. See you next time. See ya.